Hello and Namaste. I am back here again with one more interesting video for you all. This video will help you to write and speak English fluently. Today, I will be presenting 12 common mistakes committed by us while speaking or writing English. So, here we go. Number 1. Some students cheat while giving exams. Dear listeners, students never give the exam. Actually, they take the exam. Teachers give the exam and students take the exam. So, its correct form will be some students cheat while taking exams. Number 2. We have often heard such kind of complaints by the students like sir she is beating me from a stick yes can you guess the mistake there hmm the correct structure is sir she is beating me with a stick we use the preposition with in case of this sentence number 3 open the fan Yes, this sentence is imperative and here the direct order is given to us. But it is the electrical term so we will be using the switch on. So our correct sentence will be switch on the fan. Number 4. What is the reason for your headache? There is never the reason for the headache, actually. There is always the cause of the headache. So, its correct form will be, what is the cause of your headache? Number 5. Let me congratulate you for your success. Dear listeners, being success is especially a occasion and we actually congratulate on it so its correct structure will be let me congratulate you on your success number six i met rocky two years before we often use such kind of sentences but here is one mistake there. Yes, I hope you all have already guessed it. Its correct structure should be I met Rocky two years ago. Number 7 Do you know who is that woman? Here we can see or we can observe also in case of do you know or may I ask or can you tell me? We have to be more careful because these are the indirect structures where we ask the question and we need to be more polite there. So the correct sentence in such case will be Do you know who that woman is? Or you can say May I ask who that woman is or you can say can you tell me who that woman is fine let's move to next one where I can buy a cell phone charger it is an interrogative sentence and such sentences are often mistaken by the students also the correct structure for such kind of interrogative sentence will be WH word plus auxiliary verb plus the subject. So, we should write the sentence like Where can I buy a cell phone charger? Number 9. There is a 6 months course. This sentence can be seen as the correct sentence, but here is a slight mistake. 
because entire expression become the adjective for course so we won't be using the months there we have to remove s from the month so the correct sentence will be there is a 6 month course number 10 thank you i really enjoy it this sentence can be guessed as the correct one but again here is a slight mistake this enjoyed is a re- reflexive verb and it consists of the reflexive pronoun also so we should better use myself there because there is i thank you i really enjoyed myself or you can say thank you he really enjoyed himself number 11 we have been waiting for you since 3 hours what should be the correct sentence there we have to remove since from there because since always mention the starting point and for mention the duration children often become confused in these two because they can't understand where to use since and where to use for so don't get confused because since should be used whenever we have to mention the starting point and for should be used for the duration like i can say we have been waiting for you for 3 hours 3 hours is the duration and i can say we have been waiting for you since 5 o'clock that will be the correct one number 12 i have graduated from university in 2018 This sentence is often used by the graduated students whenever they are telling about themselves but they commit the mistake in such kind of sentence because it should be i graduated from university in 2018 for that past event you don't have to use the perfect form of it better to use simple past for it because it is already past even there okay so how many of 12 sentences you answered correctly please state your comment in comment box and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button in second part i will be presenting the next day stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe share and follow this channel thank you happy learning and goodbye